right so hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this video is especially for those who have qualified csir december 2022 june 2023 exam that means the last csir net exam so for all of you guys csir has announced or updated their uh, certificates for that exam if you have qualified jrf if you have qualified net in both the cases you will be getting your certificates now okay and how you are going to get that that i'm going to tell you so those who have qualified only CSIR JRF. See, these are there are two types of JRF. You all know, I think by now you already know about it. One is whose roll number is in the part one of the result, which is CSIR JRF. The second is part two of the result, which are UGC JRF. So for CSIR JRF, you have to send some documents to CSIR. I have already made a video on that and the link of that video will be here. I think you have already watched that. In case if you have not sent, please send those documents. Then only CSIR will push your certificate on the website. Okay. And for those who are uh, whose result is in part two, they don't have to send any re, like uh, certificate or anything. Your result is sorry, your certificate is already there on the on the UGC website. Okay, so all you have to do is come to this particular website, which is CSIR uh, net dot nta dot nic dot in. I will give you link to that this particular link to this particular website in the description of this video. You can directly come up over here. So all you have to do is go to this candidate activity section and the second link which says joined CSIR UGC net December 2022 June 2023 certificate okay so you have to click on this particular link and then you will be taken to this page where you have to log in through your application number and date of birth you have to fill your application number you have to fill your date of birth enter the security pin and submit and that's how you will be able to log in and then you can download your certificate so I have credentials of one of my student I will directly do that and show you what you are going to get in the next step all right so as soon as you will log in there will be two link one is for csir ugc net jrf award letter and the other one will be for csir ugc net certificate so if you have qualified jrf in that case you will be getting both these link if you have just qualified net or ls in that case you will just get one link which will be for csir ugc net certificate okay so depending upon which like what you have qualified you will be getting the number of link Again, I am telling those who have qualified JRF, they will be getting both these link. One will be your JRF award letter, one will be your net certificate. And those who have only qualified net, those who have not qualified JRF, for them, you will only get one link which will be CSIR UGC net certificate. So, one by one, I will show you. So, this is your CSIR UGC net uh, award letter. Okay, uh, You can click on this download button to download this up and it will include all your information like your name, your uh, like father's name, mother's name, your subject and your role number Okay, and your reference number will be there. That means your application number and then uh, the whole information is there. That is more important to look upon. Okay, So, this is kind of a letter from your senior director of NTA and it says that I am pleased to inform you that you have qualified for JRF and eligible for assistant professor in December 2022, June 2023 merged cycle and the tenure of the fellowship is 5 years and it is it commences from the date of declaration of the net result which is 29th of August 2023 or from the date of admission under MPhil or PhD from the date of joining uh, the program whichever is later. Okay, So, uh, this is something which you have to understand very carefully. Now, let us say you have not joined research yet or you have not joined into PhD yet, you have just qualified your masters and you are waiting to join as a PhD scholar. In that case, your JRF uh, award letter or your JRF tenure will start from the date of joining your PhD, Okay, from the date from uh, on which you will join your PhD, that will be the date from which your uh, cert, uh, like JRF fellowship will be counted. But let us say if you are someone who has already joined uh, JRF, uh, sorry, you have already joined PhD you are doing your PhD and during your PhD you qualified this particular exam. In that case, your fellowship will start from 29th of, uh, uh, sorry, it is July, 29th of July 2023. Okay, So, that is what it is. So, your, your fellowship will start from this particular date depending upon uh, whether you have joined. So, if you have already joined PhD, then this date will be the date from which you will get the fellowship and if you have not joined PhD yet, then the date on which you will join the PhD, that will be the date of your uh, fel uh, fellowship is starting. Okay. Now, one more thing that the award is required to get admission and registration of regular and full time PhD course in a university institute college recognized by UGC at the first available opportunity, but not later than three years. That means this award letter has a validity of three years. Okay. So, if let us say uh, like this is going to like what will be the uh, like uh, 
the validity or what will be the date at which it is going to expire. So, 3 years just count from here, 29th July 2023, 3 years from this will be 28th of uh, July 2026. So, if you have joined, we, uh, if you are going to join PhD within this particular 3 years, then only you can avail this award letter and you can start your fellowship. Otherwise, this uh, award letter will be null and void. Okay. So, make sure that in case if you are if you are willing to join PhD, join PhD within three years of getting this particular award letter. All right. Uh, there are a few other things written. You can look upon it. These are all general uh, information which are provided. And this is all about your CSIR award letter. Okay. Now we talk about the second thing, which is CSIR UGC NET certificate. Okay. So this is how your CSIR UGC NET certificate or LS certificate will look like. Again, you can click over here to download this up. And again, your all the information will be there. Your name and all the other things. Now, it says that as per the information provided by the candidate, uh, he, she is, has completed, appeared for, uh, for this particular exam and all the information is there, uh, like you are eligible as a lect for lecturership or assistant professor. Okay, so one thing is very important over here that the duration or you can say the validity of this particular certificate, which is your uh, CSIR UGC net certificate. Okay, so understand that the date of eligibility uh, for lecturership or assistant professor is the date of declaration of joint CSIR UGC net test that is 29th uh, uh, 7 2023 or the date of completion of master's degree or equivalent exam with required percentage of the marks within the two years from the date of declaration of joint CSIR UGC test by 28th 7 2025 whichever is later. Now, this information you have to understand that the validity of this net certificate or LS certificate is lifetime. Okay, But let us say if you have already passed your masters then you can apply for lecturership from this date from 29th of uh, July 2023 that will be the date from which you can apply as a lecturership or assistant professor that is the uh, validity of this. Now, if let us say you are someone who has uh, not qualified masters yet you, you are in masters and you have already qualified this exam in that case you should have qualified master like you should be qualified masters within this particular date. Okay, So, your master should be completed by 28th of July 2025 then only this certificate will be valid. Okay, So, you know that uh, during masters also you can give this exam and uh, your like uh, your uh, validity is basically based upon that you should have qualified masters as well as you should have qualified this exam okay so this is what it says that your master should be completed by this particular year in order to make this certificate valid okay so that's all about this particular certificate if you have any other question you can ask me in the comment section below and uh, everybody whosoever have qualified please download your certificates on time and that's all from my side for this particular video guys thank you so much for watching See you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.